everyone my name is meera welcome back to my channel i am finally unboxing all the perseus boxes that i got from the lock the box bangalore sale uh, the perseus boxes are the mid range ones they cost about 1500 no wait that was in the offline sale in the offline sale they cost 1500 but in the online one i paid 1800 per box and usually you should be able to fit around 15 to 18 books in them um uh, this video is going to be split into three parts because i have around 18 to 20 books in each of these boxes and i'm going to talk a little bit about them the sale started on the 29th of january and went on till 7th of feb before i get started with the unboxing let me tell you a little bit about what it's like like the customer experience so um you download the app and there are these multiple categories that you can use to browse the titles there's literature and fiction young adult thrillers non fiction and so on but what i'd recommend is to just go through the literature and fiction because even though there are some titles listed in the young adult and these other categories they're not as many and you will find a whole lot more in the literature and fiction category where everything is and then as you are browsing these titles there will be like a shortlist button so you keep shortlisting titles once you're satisfied with the number of books that you've shortlisted you go to the next page where you get to choose one of the three boxes and they say that they have an ai technology which uh, decides how many books can fit into a box it depends i think on the width of the book whether it's a hard cover paperback of course if it's hard cover it's going to take up more space in the box so keep those things in mind when you are shopping <laughs> uh i spent hours and hours going through so many pages countless pages of works looking for ones that i wanted to add to my library and i found such gems that i could not resist i went a little berserk okay i bought three of them <laughs> there was free home delivery available for karnataka so after i had placed the order i got these boxes in around 12 to 15 days time which is pretty decent I have not seen the condition that these books are in. We're going to figure that out together through this unboxing because unlike the offline sale where I would flip through all the pages of the book and make sure that it's in pristine condition, I couldn't do that here. It's an online sale. So I'm just hoping that they're in readable condition because that is my one main prerequisite. I really don't understand it when there are books that are so tattered that you can't even hold them up to read. How does that happen? Who does that to books? Without further ado, let's dive into the box. Uh, so first up, Bookchore sends you bookmarks, really cute ones at that. The first book I see is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is a thriller fiction about a married couple who have apparently gotten away with murder. Sounds very intriguing already, doesn't it? Um on the back it says every marriage has secrets everyone has flaws your wife is in perfect you know that but then again nor are you this book has been heavily recommended to me on goodreads because i tend to read a lot of mystery thrillers um i don't see any issue with the book as such it looks pretty much new apart from the cover being a little bent but definitely very readable next Prithviraj Chauhan The Emperor of Hearts by Anuja Chandramouli I love Indian titles which are about historic figures um I can never have enough of those kind of books like it makes me want to read just more and more of them This is a tale of heroism inevitably and of love uh, we get to read about uh, the experiences of Prithviraj Chauhan the legend that he was his relationship with a princess and much more I have not read any book by Anuja Chandramouli so that makes this interesting enough. Let me know if you've read any of her books and if you've enjoyed them. Then Call Me By Your Name by Andre Ackerman. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a queer romance which is set at a cliffside mansion on the Italian Riviera and that itself makes me so excited because well summer vibes, holidays, vacation, I think that would be perfect. It's about a young man who begins to develop feelings for a guest living at his parents' place. The book is in near perfect condition. I think it's a new copy. I don't think yes, it looks very new. 
as you can see there are no wrinkles or folded pages or any such thing that's really nice oh. wild by cheryl strade this is a non fiction title it's a memoir about a woman who embarks on a solo journey to hike across a thousand miles without any training without any support um from what i've read about the book i think um she had some difficult experiences a troubled marriage so she decides to go on this journey of healing and self exploration uh this book has a little bit of foxing on the edges if you can see but again no rips no markings so i can definitely make this my own copy um this book has been on my tbr for a long time because it is ultimately a story of endurance and resilience and how you are responsible for your own life you can make things happen for yourself um i read that from the synopsis that it's been told in a very engaging witty and heartening way so i think that will make it more interesting to dive into the perspective of the narrator next songs of a coward by perumal murugan this is a collection of poems i am the kind of person who likes to write poetry more than read them but i have read perumal murugan's works before and i've enjoyed those so i thought this would be an interesting experience the girl on the train by paula hawkins this has come in time i saw this on their app and i'm like i need it because i'm going to read this and then watch the movie that's come out it's about a woman who is commuting to work on a train and her routine is pretty normal but one day she sees something very unexpected and that pulls her into the lives of these two other people so it's a suspense it's a thriller and it's going to be exciting i hope i really hope it lives up to its expectations it lives up to the hype that it has created and i want to like this book more than the movie okay i hope that happens then the prince of mist by carlos ruiz zafon this is a historical fiction set during war time a family moves into this mysterious house where there are sudden weird things happening and the ghost of the previous owner's son still lingers in the house so it's about how the family navigates all of that and uh, i have the which book to, the shadow of the wind by carlos ruiz zafon I have not read that but I really like the premise of this and I feel like it it's a short read like the font size is really big so it shouldn't take me much time to go through it All these beautiful strangers by Elizabeth Clairfort <gasps> The edges look at that Oh so cool this is a young adult fiction about a girl who joins this prestigious school and um, in order to be a part of a secret society there she needs to participate in this kind of scavenger hunt which could lead to a lot of trouble in her life but she does it anyway because young adult things um okay some of these edges are a little faded let me fix that okay um, um i don't read a lot of young adult fiction these days because some of them can be very trite but um something about boarding schools these schools in london and secret societies elite societies i think that makes the plot very interesting so i want to see what the author has done with this premise and whether it's going to be an engaging read or not i think it will be also the protagonist that is this woman her mother disappeared many years ago so i think that mystery also um creates the atmosphere and it sort of has a lurking presence in the story uh trial by silence by perumal murugan this picks up after the events of one part woman and i've read that this is like an alternate ending to the story which is so interesting because you don't really come across things like that in books anymore so i'm going to read one part woman first and then pick this up next is what 
20,000 leagues under the sea by Jules Verne. I did not choose this. Are we now getting books we have not picked? I really hope they have not missed out on something I have chosen. Oh man. Okay, well, this is a classic. I have not read that. So, thankfully, there is that. Everyone knows about it. I don't really need to say anything else. Except that... What's not going to be there? Ooh, this one still has a plastic wrap on it. Okay, Jumpa Lahiri's The Clothing of Box. It's a non-fiction title. It's an essay where the author talks about book jackets. Um, I think this is a very interesting perspective and a topic to explore because it's not really talked of a lot. Um, so we get to read from the author's perspective about readers, authors, designers and their importance within the publishing industry. It's a very short read and it's a hardcover. Let's just take this out. Yeah. <gasps> it's signed. It's a signed title. Yay. That is so nice. Love that. Then, um, The Poison of Love by K.R. Meera. I've not read any of her works and this one was recommended to me. It's a translated title originally written in Malayalam. Uh, it's about a woman who forsakes everything for love but she soon realizes that Love in itself might not be enough to keep a relationship afloat. It's such a short title. I did not know that. If this should be a quick read as well. And what is this? Okay. It has really interesting chapter separators. <laughs> then King Lear by William Shakespeare. This is a play about families struggling between greed and cruelty. It is said to be one of Shakespeare's most popular tragedies and I have only read a few of his plays before so I hope this will be an engaging experience and not really alienated. Next, Which Child by Celia Reyes. This I think is written in diary format. Yes it is, which as all of you know I really like. It's about a young girl who escapes being persecuted as a witch but she faces more difficulties in society and so we get to read about that. Uh, it has been in my TBR list for a long time because I enjoy these kind of titles, uh, these kind of books that are about witchcraft and so on. And what is that? Is that a bookmark or a pill? Okay, there's some kind of a pill in it. <laughs> And then, The Rains by Greg Hurwitz. This is a post-apocalyptic dystopian fiction in which anyone above the age of 18 is not safe in society. Uh, there's some kind of an illness, some disease going on which makes people above the age of 18 mad. And so they're essentially like hunters. Uh, we get to read about two, three of these young adult characters who ultimately have to save the day. Then, uh, Let the Right One In by Jean Ajvide Lindquist. Sorry. Um, this also has been one of my most anticipated titles for years now. It is a Swedish paranormal fiction, well, historical fiction, uh, which has to do with vampires. It's about a young boy, something to do with bullies, and he soon realizes that the girl living next door, there's something very strange about her. Maybe she's the vampire, maybe he becomes the vampire. I don't know. But uh, its plot is in itself so exciting. Let me know if you've read this. I don't think I've read Swedish titles before, so I don't know what the writing's gonna be like, but anything with vampires in it, serve it to me on a platter. I will read it. Yeah, this too, like the condition of the books, really good. It just has a little bit of yellowing on the edges. That's about it. 
then there is the slow regard of silent things by patrick rothfuss this is the second no not the second this is a novella that is part of the king killer chronicles it comes after the second book i've not read the first one but i have the first one the reason i've not picked it up yet is because the author hasn't released the third book yet and i want to binge read it so i'm planning to definitely have the entire series and then read it this is about one of the characters from the series and it explores some adventure in her life and the book is also really interesting it has these illustrations it's pretty cool and then friendship by rose tremain this is one of the vintage minis it explores questions of friendship love and these are i think extracts taken from rose tremain's other titles this well the cover is a little dirty nothing that a little bit of cleaning won't solve it's okay <laughs> okay we're getting to the end of this box mm the 12 by justin cronin this is also a post apocalyptic dystopian fiction it has something to do with government experiments and vampires it follows the first book which is the passage and i've not read that so i'm not going to read the synopsis of this and spoil the first book for myself is this a pirated copy no it's just i think a mass market paperback which is why the font is so tiny and cramped but i don't mind that a horse walks into a bar by david grossman this is set in an israeli city and it's about the life of a stand up comic i think the entire book is set during just one performance like one evening's performance and um, the book won the international man book prize in 2017 it's very short these are one of those books that have been all over social media but i just did not get to it before now then there's the unseeing idol of light by kr meera i don't know why i felt like i wanted to buy all of kr meera's books that i saw on this app so i went ahead and got it and i also did not know that this is going to be a hard cover title this man's wife goes missing and the grief of that makes him go blind but one day someone else enters into his life and yet he's not able to forget his wife which is a good thing uh this is also a translated title i think this is the first book from this unboxing that has the most wear and tear the dust jacket of the book is a little wrinkled and has some tears in it the edges of the book are also a little dusty and then Bluebird's Egg and Other Stories by Margaret Atwood. Uh this is a collection of short stories that explores relationships and emotions and those kind of topics. I love Margaret Atwood's writing. If you didn't know that already, I have been hounding everyone I know to read The Handmaid's Tale for a few years now. Um so I'm trying to collect all of her works and I remember in 2019 I made it a yearly goal to read as many of her works as possible but that was a no go. <laughs> so let's try that again. And the last book is Tooth and Nail Fur and Scale by Anupam Arunachalam. This is a book that's about creatures from Indian mythology, from urban legends and folk tales and it's a very interestingly structured book which is I think they're like short tales with tons of graphics in them. I'm still a child when it comes to things like this. It makes me very excited to see sketches and illustrations and colorful pages in books. So that's it for this unboxing. Wait, which book was not delivered? Uh, instead of Jules Verne's title. the last i had bought this book called the last by hannah jameson um which was something to do with a man being stranded at a hotel so that's not there in the box 
it's a little bit of a bummer but i guess it's okay because i haven't read it and these are all really great titles that i got for a steel deal the rest two boxes i will unbox in other videos so hang around subscribe to my channel if you're interested in watching more of these kind of videos i got 23 books in this perseus box thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this unboxing video i will see you soon again in another one bye Thank you.